Hello friends, let's talk about the Informatica repository manager today. The Informatica repository is a relational database that stores information or metadata used by the Informatica server and client tools. Metadata can include information such as mappings describing how to transform source data, sessions indicating when you want the Informatica server to perform the transformations, and connect strings for sources and targets. The repository also stores administrative information such as usernames and passwords, permissions and privileges, and product version. You create and maintain the repository with the Repository Manager client tool. With the Repository Manager, you can create folders to organize metadata and groups to organize users. The layout of the rep Repository Manager is very similar to that of the designer or the workflow manager. The navigation bar on the left side of the screen displays the folder structures of your repository. Within each folder, you can see the targets, sources, mappings, transformation, maplets, mappings, worklets, workflows, and all of their configurations. <clears throat> all your works, Output is displayed in the output window at the bottom of the screen. All the warnings and alerts are displayed here. You get different notifications about your tasks here. The main pane displays the folder contents of whichever folder you open. You can navigate through multiple folders and repositories and complete the following tasks. Manage users and groups. Create, edit and delete repository users and user groups. You can assign and revoke repository privileges and folder permissions. Power Center Security performs folder functions. Create, edit, copy and delete folders. Work you perform in the designer and workflow manager is stored in folders. If you want to share metadata, you can configure a folder to be shared. Folders provide a way to organize and store all metadata in the repository, including mappings, schemas, and sessions, folders are designed to be flexible to help you organize the repository logically. Each folder has a set of properties you can configure to define how users access the folder. For example, you can create a folder that allows your all repositories users to see objects within the folder but not to edit them. You'll have a better idea of the repository manager once we get to the practical work. Thank you for staying with us. Take care.